counted them. We have an awful lot of narcotic cases in this. Well, now, these narcotics cases, were they mostly involving young people or older adults? I would say most of them were involving young people. Were there any name cases in these 340-some-odd? I don't believe there was. departments and the efforts they've made to uh, to give us a society that is free from crime. There's a lot of irregularity in the law as regards search and seizure and uh, evidence and so forth. Can you foresee these problems being ironed out so that some of these indictments will stick? Yes, I do. I think the, uh, you know, society's bumped along not in a gradual upward curve but by hills and valleys. I think that uh, there will be a time of leveling off now where these things can be re-examined, re-evaluated, and we'll have a system that uh, will get to the truth of a, of a matter. In other words, the first thing that we did in this particular area was to look at the ecological aspects of this development to determine the nature of the ground itself, the trees, the streams, the topography, and to really try to utilize this environmentally so that rather than starting a development from the point of view of just determining what type of housing or industrial or commercial properties you'd have, here we try to look at the land itself, <coughs> test the nature of the land, look at it ecologically, and then make a determination of how to use it from the point of view of open space, recreational, and environmental purposes. It's a tremendous benefit to society when it's orderly. We have less crime. So the sheer number of indictments that are returned, the fact that the number is higher, is depressing because we hope that individuals will be discouraged from uh, experimenting with uh, marijuana and other dope and that they would realize that it to their benefit not to uh, engage in the illegal activity. But just there were more than 13,000 indictments returned this past year compared to with a little over 10,000 the year before. Does that increase of almost 30 percent disturb you? Well, any increase is disturbing, of course. Uh, there are various ways to explain the increase.
Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Unlimited fossils. We also like if uh, you really need state or federal for that, in case that was staff. Its profile is that of a huge marble monument rising from the rolling north central Texas prairies. The mock-up portion of the regional terminal complex, when completed, will cost just under $250,000, a quarter million dollars. Why a mock-up? Well, the primary reason we're told by the airport authorities is that the contractors can test the construction materials and also so that they can see just exactly what a regional terminal complex will look like and for the airlines to test their interior decorating methods, their color coordinations, and I guess uh, so that will match the beautiful little suits of the airline stewardesses and what have you. Some people say, well, is there really going to be a regional airport? There's been a lot of talk about it. We spent a lot of money. Yes, Virginia, there really is a regional airport, and this is just another physical evidence of it. Next year at this time, it should be at least 40 to 45 percent complete if everything goes well. Art Sinclair, Channel 8 News on the Move at the Regional Airport. Now, the predominant factor for causing the need for college tutoring is the uh, inability of the schools now to take care of all of this type of tutoring because usually the schools have one or two counselors and I think this load would be heavier. Many of our young people are reluctant to go to the counselor for this type of information. They put it off and finally they never go. Do you feel that this will discourage dropouts and encourage more college attendance? Yes, I think it will encourage more college attendance. There are programs, however, for the potential dropouts. Now there are some young people that are not going to finish high school and there are programs in the schools that will help them to at least finish high school. But we find that there are young people who really want to go to college, but they get discouraged because they feel that there's no hope of going. And here in this program, we will let them know the many avenues of assistance that they can go to college if they will. And I think that will uh, stop some of the dropouts. Other sources of income to relieve pressure on property owners. I think your question on how to bring the money for the, how to control it, where to get the money to control it, I think that gets into your income for the what? factory people or, or people who own cars. And what's, how do you do that? Well, then we have decided that it should be the state's problem, right? Yes. City's position in war on crime. Okay, this ought to hit pretty good. Yes. I think that we ought to quit working on busting, you know, the uh, pornography dealers and the potheads and such, and work on really serious crime, murder, robbery, rape, uh, and such. Are you saying that drugs are not directly involved in these crimes? Well, they may be, but... Uh, you don't think they could work hand in hand? Oh, sure they could. But uh, when we make our most direct emphasis on all kinds of uh, drug abuse, I mean, there's a lot more drug abuse than there is crime.
Uh, I got in early yesterday morning about 5.30 after driving all night, and I thought I'd get a couple hours sleep, and the first thing I know, I've already made three recruiting trips in one day. So uh, we've already begun to work, and uh, with some of the players we have lined up, I think you'll see a big, we hope, a big difference in our football team this next year. And we, w we will win. That they were just in a prevent defense, and uh, I mean, you know, they were just letting me run as much as I wanted to, as long as I didn't score the uh, touchdown. I realized that, and I think everybody, everyone else did. But uh, to me, I felt like I had a couple of decent runs uh, in the line, and but I didn't consider those long runs anything spectacular because I thought anybody could have done that. You know, they were just letting somebody run the clock out. Actually, you mentioned your brother. Do you have a brother who runs? Oh yes, <laughs> have a young brother. Another Wooster. Well, that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can you say? You want to play, you want to win. And I think that's everybody's sentiment. And it's an important game. It means a lot to us, especially since we lost to Southern California. We have something to gain there. It's an incentive. And Texas, of course, has a national championship to think about. How about your position as a halfback? Have you been satisfied with your season this year? Well, I felt I've tried to do my best. That's all I can really do. If I've performed well, then I'm happy. If I haven't, I'm <laughs> I just try to do a little better. In a normal game plan, let's take the Missouri game, for example. It did a lot of running there. How many times a game would you carry the ball? I guess anywhere from maybe 12 to 15 times a game. We don't overwork anybody. We're kind of a balanced team. You can't really expect one person to do a lot. Well, when you get in this situation where you've got the two best teams in, in the National Football competing, of course, anything can happen. Uh, San Francisco is a tremendous offensive football team. they got a great kick return man in Bruce Taylor. These are the big factors that we must control. Uh, of course, in our, on our part, we've been playing very good defense, and we've run the ball very well. Uh, if we can control the ball and keep it away from Brody, uh, then we've got a better chance to win.